Hey guys, what's going on? Okay, we are back now in part two. I'm going to show you guys how to install the kernel and then configure your Grub bootloader to boot from your new kernel by default. So, when your kernel is done compiling, it should look a little bit like this. To install the kernel, what you're going to do is you're going to type sudo make... Uh, actually, you know what? Let me uh, start this for you guys. So you can see the commands I'm doing. You're going to be typing sudo make and what you're going to do is type modules underscore install install type enter. Now it's going to ask you for your password. Alright there we go so my password was entered and as you can see it's installing all the drivers. Um, most of the kernel, a lot of the kernel, is drivers. So you're going to notice a lot of, of drivers being installed. Um, this is only going to take a minute or two. Total build time for me was about 15 minutes. And so right now you can see that we are in, it's using an install script to install it. Um, into my boot directory and it's done okay so technically now the new your new custom kernel is installed the zen, the zen kernel is installed what we want to do now is configure our, our grub bootloader to boot from this by default okay the way that we're going to do that is by typing sudo gedit boot slash grub2 slash grub dot cfg enter all right Here's your grub uh, bootloader file. Right at the top it says, do not edit this file. <laughs> of course I'm going to have you edit it. Right over here it says, set default 1. You're going to want to change this to 0. All right. Okay, good. So set default equals 0. Next, scroll down a little bit here. See where it says set timeout? That's the amount of time it's going to, uh, when you boot your computer, that's the amount of time it's going to hang at the Grub Bootloader screen. I only, I honestly don't need it to hang there for five seconds. Um, I'm going to change mine to three. Um, two would even be fine. Um, if you want to just bypass that, that whole thing, you could uh, set it to one even. If you want to speed up your beat, uh, if you want to speed up your boot up process. So um, we'll set mine to three seconds. And then right here, this is where it begins, our uh, grub file here for our kernels. As you can see right here, this entry, this is the kernel we just configured, uh, compiled rather, and installed, the Fedora 3.1.4 Zen. Now if, you've gave, if you gave your kernel a custom name, that name will be here. Okay, so uh, this uh, the very first option is always option 0, which is why we changed the set default to 0 up here. Okay, so there it is. It's already input, inputted into our grub file. We don't need to do anything there. All you're going to do now is hit save. Okay, and you're done. So there you go. Um, we just we just cloned the, the Zen stable git repository. We configured the Zen kernel for our specific hardware. We compiled it and then we installed it. You also edited your grub bootloader file so that it will automatically now boot from your custom kernel. Now, a couple of words of caution. Always should keep more than one kernel installed in your system. Okay, so in case the kernel you compiled, something goes wrong with it, you can always boot, out, uh, boot off of another kernel if need be. So at least keep one other solid, stable kernel on your system at all times. Just a word of caution. Take it from somebody who's you know, removed more kernels than they should have and ended up with a, a messed up kernel and had to do a whole lot of work to get it fixed. So, um, again, uh, make sure that you keep more than one kernel on your system at all times. Hopefully, you found this tutorial helpful. Um, this, again, was compiling, or I'm sorry, configure, configuring, compiling, and installing the Zen kernel onto your Fedora 16 setup. 
If you look again in the description below, you'll see all my social media contacts. Follow me on Twitter. I'd like to receive a lot of feedback from my videos on Twitter. If you guys like a video, feel free to you know tweet me uh, and let me know that you enjoyed something. If you have an idea for a video or if you want to see me cover a topic, I can't promise because I do get a lot of requests, but I can't I can't promise I I'll cover all of them, but. By all means, you know, tweet tweet me uh, something. One of my videos that I did recently, uh, how to install a Fedora font. I'm sorry, Ubuntu font in Fedora was a topic somebody uh, sent me. So be sure to send me any uh, suggestions. Do it on Twitter. Um, you know, make sure to uh, send me a personal message here on YouTube. Use the comment section below if you have any problems. There's a lot of uh, users, uh, Linux users on YouTube that are familiar with compiling kernels and know their way around Linux systems. If you have a question, if I don't uh, have the time to answer it or may not be around at the time that you need an answer, uh, someone may be able to do that for you. Take advantage of the comment section. Leave a comment if you have a question. Either myself or somebody else I'm sure may jump in and, and try to give you a hand. So again, guys, hopefully you found this tutorial helpful uh, keep on the lookout for more tutorials to come uh, right now I'm working on uh, a video how to set up an Android development environment within Fedora so be on the lookout for that video and until next time we will see you guys later